created by a giant black serpent. We live on the coast. There are salt water, bitter water, and freshwater people. Bitter is where the salt and the fresh waters meet, at the river mouths and lagoons. The freshwater people are inland people. Wollongong means five islands. The people in this area were once known as the Five Islands Tribes. One of our creation stories tells of how the Five Islands came to be. Five little girls banished out to sea and turned to stone for disobedience and rude behaviour by their father, the West Wind. The sixth daughter became a mountain waiting for her sisters to return. Mount Kira rises up behind the city of Wollongong and looks out over the Five Islands. <coughs> if you go out to Picton uh, during November, the berries are ripe. Now what you would do is you would follow the berries to the coast and by the time you got here it would be summer and the whales would be coming around at that time as well. Now you've got the, uh, the bottle brush that uh, would tell you when the mullet is in season and very soon you'll have the sunny water would go in the blossom and you would have the moth to in season. It's the plant that tells us what fish are around. So you follow that through. You come from the fresh water uh, down to the salt water and that's when everybody comes together. One boat would sit up on the highest point of the hill and tell us where the fish would be coming in. Then we would surround them and then spear them. We did this for hours until we got enough fish to take home. We caught mostly mullet and we lived on it. Used to get abalone and pippies all the time, but now only get a small fixed quota. Only allowed two per trip or something like that. As kids we used to build these rock pools near the shore below the tide line with rocks. The tide would come in bringing the water and the fish and then the tide would go out leaving the fish trapped behind our wall of rocks. Lots and lots of fish would be caught behind our wall. There are many middens along the coastline telling the story of thousands of years of Aboriginal existence. A midden is like an area of kitchen waste, the discarded remains of meals of shellfish, animal bones, and stone tools mixed with ash from fires used for cooking. Corroborees, important ceremonies, were held at Coronel and at the Lambie Point. And at the Port Kembla Heritage Park, there is a group of huge middens of great archaeological and cultural significance, known to be 17,000 years old. <laughs> You know, you bring a boy from the bush and the first thing they see is the sea. It's such a shock to them. They can't believe how big it is. Their eyes, well, their eyes just pop out of their heads. You know, it just goes on forever. When Captain James Cook sailed up the eastern coast of Australia in 1770, the ship's botanist, Joseph Banks, recorded a description of what the Bulli coastline looked like before Europeans had even set foot on it. The country today again made in slopes to the sea. The trees were not very large and stood <coughs> separate from each other. Among them we could discern many cabbage trees, but nothing else which we could call by any name. In the course of the night, many fires were seen. <laughs> the story is, they were really like the fires all up and down the coast. They were just warning each other of what was coming. Huh? The tribe from the coast didn't always use uh, 